morning. So today is the 28th of October 2019 and it happens to be a Sunday. Sunday is the day when me and Asif, we head towards Pats and Moon for some fun. So normally what we do is we just hang out somewhere near. So today we are heading towards Chester Valley for some off-roading fun and I really hope that you folks enjoy. I have already covered this vlog around two years back but that time I was new to this entire vlogging concept. So I wasn't so good into what I was doing back then but I really hope that this time I can give the best out of me. Now it's time for me to give Happy his energy drink because Happy wants that really bad. So give Happy his energy drink worth 300 rupees. Not much. If I would have fueled 100 rupees more, then the tank would have been full, but it's okay. Right, Happy? Happy says yes. And here is Asif on his white horse. Actually, the white horse, the name was suggested by me, so you're welcome. That's it. I personally feel that it is a whole different level of fun when you are riding in the hills when you are going around the corners this is obviously not a racetrack so don't go like full cornering and all out here don't lean your bike too much but you know riding around the twisties changing the gears regularly that's like so much fun you know and on top of that road and greenery all around that's simply majestic Mountains all day and every day, peace. This is what I'm talking about. So out here I have a coin in my hand and this is what I used to do when I was a small kid okay I used to take a coin I used to play I used to you know ask for certain things which I wanted in my life that is my family to be happy and my friends you know just wanted to be with my friends at a particular moment and my family of course so that is the exact thing which I'm doing right now it's been like many years since I haven't done this so here it goes This river, Tishta, we consider it as Tishta Mata. We consider this as God. Alright. A very holy place. So here is the coin and now it goes like this. This is something which I always used to do when I used to pass through this way. 
now enough with the talking we need to continue with the journey because it's already getting a bit late it's already 11:30 right now and by the time we reach Trisha Valley it's going to be somewhere around 12 12:15 i guess come let's go Running one off the last place is known as 27th mile or as the locals would like to call it satai smell and that road is the road we are supposed to enter Earlier this road was like shattered into pieces but now they have constructed it really well. Kudos. And I don't know what you call these kind of trees or right if anyone knows the name of these kind of trees the local name or the botanical name anything then enlighten me. All right these are the trees whenever I used to come this way whenever I used to go to my farm house I used to be fascinated by these kind of trees. If you are lucky enough then you might spot the peacock out here because there are a lot of peacocks out here in this region but only if you are lucky enough then you you are going to spot one all right you're not going to spot one every day just look at the dense forest wow this is what is beautiful about the hills right the mountains dense forest greenery everywhere this one is my dad's Uh, friends please all right this is the first village near 27 mile this is known as devrali devrali dada now this place is known as komjer We are quite close to Disha Valley now. Very close to Disha Valley, and my happy is performing excellently. So officially, we have entered Disha Valley. Nara can be gone from this way to but I'm not taking that route because the route is kind of mm, all right so I'm taking the longer way but this way the road is better we are going to that top so this was the community hall of Pisa Valley but then it was burned during the Gorkha and Andolan of 2000 what was the year I forgot all right it was burned because of that Now exiting Pisa Valley we are about to enter Dhankheti Welcome to our beautiful place ladies and gentlemen So ladies and gentlemen this tank out here marks the beginning of Dhankheti After Dhankheti comes Tawa from there we are supposed to head inside so if we go straight then we'll be reaching gelbonjang 
And if you take your left from here, then we'll be heading towards Jinglam. And well, the road will take you to Durpin Dada or Iknumar Dada as well. And then to Krista Valley once again. So this way if you are headed to then you will be reaching to Durpindara and this way well if you have already watched the Dasai vlog then this way will take you to my dad's place and my granddad's place which is Jinglam and can you see the house down there that's my dad's place no it, it's entirely covered with the trees out here And gentlemen, welcome to Ek Number Dada or the Durpin Dada of Tista Valley. Doesn't it look gorgeous? This view would have been better if it wasn't such a kind of foggy weather, you know. Wow, but look at the jungle. Like this place. Or I'm not gonna talk. You just enjoy this place. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. It's a During the Dasai vlog, I took you folks to my granddad's place, right? So now I'll be taking you to my grand... not... <laughs> so now I'll be taking you to my dad's place. Now finally exiting the Durpindara, now heading towards my dad's place. Done with all the photo shoots as well. And if you don't want to miss out on any pictures along with the videos on YouTube, obviously you'll get the videos on YouTube, but if you don't want to miss out on any pictures, then follow me on Instagram at this. Or you can go straight to my description box down there and you'll get my Instagram along with Ashwita's Instagram link. So make sure to follow both of us. And well, I forgot to mention, this Durpin Dada is famous for its first January picnics, that is New Year picnics. As children, when we were in Jinglam, we used to come here during the New Year time, and well, we used to enjoy our picnics. A lot of families, basically almost like 80% of the families from Jinglam and nearby areas come to this place for picnics during the New Year time. So we have to take this left. This exact place is known as Samput. Earlier these roads used to be like those ones, alright. But courtesy of Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana, if I'm not wrong, now these roads are like this. And, and this exact curve, used, I used to fear this curve so much, this one, earlier. Because the road conditions were pathetic. Here there used to be a shortcut 
which will connect directly to my home. This exact place is known as Koti Dura and down there my dad's place is known as Sindure Dura and all above there my granddad's place is known as Loin Dura. This is Koti Dura. Koti basically means a small bungalow for the residing manager of the tea plantation out here. And this out here is my dad's home, it's my home as well. Bozo? So this is my dad's place, alright. This is the shop where my mom used to sit around 20 years back. Here is the washroom. Let's go up. Here what we have is, this used to be the guest room back in those days. This used to be a sitting room. This used to be a dining room. And here is the kitchen. Now going further up. Uh, here we used to sit and chill. Alright. From here you get an awesome view of the entire locality. This was my room. Now it seems they have converted this into puja room. This was my parents room. With that master size bed. I love this bed. Alright. I used to play a lot in this bed when I was a small kid. Here we have the balcony. This is the balcony. Here we used to have the puja room. Now it seems it's turned into a go down. So quite some changes at home, right? And the best part about my place, what I used to feel, is this jumar right here. I used to love this. Out here we used to have a cinema theater. My dad used to own a cinema theater. I'm rich, right? <laughs> Kidding. So this is known as Gail Wanjang. This is the market of Jinglam and neighboring villages out here. Here is one restaurant, if I'm not wrong. So basically, right now we are in Gail Banjang and we are having Singada, okay? And this guy is still complaining about food. This is the only thing we got out here. And this guy, he doesn't even want to have rice. What do you want to eat, basically? Chicken chowmin. Chicken chowmin. Chicken chowmin. I mean, onda chowmin. Okay. So well, this was all about my today's day with Asif ranting and complaining about the food which he didn't get. Alright, so thank you so much for making me a part of your day. Until next time, this is Priyam Gurung and I will see you very very soon. Till then, take care, bye-bye and cheers to life. Thank you so much. And by the way, I'm sounding very different because my nose is blocked and I'm suffering from severe cough and cold. Thank you. Okay, what? What's up,